Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's session, uh, I'm going to talk about um, the uh, second fiction in the third unit of uh, DGVC Foundation English 3. The fiction name is uh, The River Nemunas. The River Nemunas. And this one is written by uh, Anthony Doyer. A N T H O N Y. Anthony Doyer. D O E R R. Anthony Doyer is the one okay, who wrote this fiction, short fiction. Before moving with the session, kindly subscribe, share, like the channel. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. Anthony Doyer is an American writer, okay, novelist, short story writer. Okay, uh, this writer uh, received a Pulitzer Prize uh, for his fiction. The fiction, you know, all the light we cannot see. This is the fiction for which he received a Pulitzer Prize. Okay, and um, he raised in Ohio, the you know Cleveland, and there he attended uh, university schools. Uh, in the year 1991, he got graduated. Okay, then later, okay, he was uh, majored in history at uh, Bowdoin College. Then, uh, in the year of 2002, he published his uh, uh, first short story collection, which is uh, The Shell Collector. The Shell Collector is first short story collection, which he released in the year 2002. In the year 2004, uh, he released his first novel, okay, which is About Grace. About Grace is first novel, which he has released in the year 2004. As a columnist, Anthony, you know, was writing uh, for the book called Boston Globe, the Boston Globe, and he also uh, contributing to uh, the Morning News. Okay, it's an online magazine for which you know he was writing frequently. And uh, between 2007 to 2010, he was uh, the writer in residence for the state of uh, Idaho, I D A H O, and uh, this writer. Uh, he published about three novels, uh, uh, which is About Grace, the first one, and uh, All the Light We Cannot See is the second one, and the third one is uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land. Okay, these are the three novels which he had published, and the three short story collection uh, which he had released. The first one is The Shell Collector, the second one is The Memory Wall, and the third one is uh, The Best American Short Stories. Okay, these are his... Uh, works which he had published okay this fiction this short fiction the uh, river nemunas talks about an young girl oh, who is about 15 years old alison alison uh, is about 15 years old and uh, there was uh, uh, one more character who is her grandpa grandpa z and uh, our old lady was there mrs sabo s-a-b-o sabo Okay, these are the three characters, and um, apart from this, she was also having a dog whose name is Mishap. Okay, which name is Mishap? Uh, Mishap is uh, Alison's dog. Okay, this girl, Alison, okay, who was about 15 years old, she was staying in a country. The name of his own country is not given. This girl lost her mother uh, due to the cancer. Her mother was passed away. And after three months of her uh, mother's death, her father was also passed away. And now uh, her lawyer uh, suggested her to leave for Lithuania where her grandpa Z is living. She needs to go to Lithuanian country. No. This girl was uh, sent to Lithuania along with her dog which is Mishap. There uh, her grandpa was waiting to receive her there she went to grandpa along with the dog there as soon as he stepped into the lithuanian country lithuania uh, she looks everything uh, you know different because cool when she was doing at the school right okay, there she was, was spoken about um, lithuania uh, there in, in the map uh, he thought it was pink color okay that is how it was given that is what it was uh, you know drawn now there uh, in Lithuania, everywhere it looks green, okay? And there, uh, she was traveling in a car along with this grandpa. She was traveling, she was looking at the buildings and the landscape, all the uh, architecture works, all, you know, she has been watching and is traveling to Grandpa Z's house. As soon as she reached, she was asked by the Grandpa Z the toothpaste, which she is like more, okay, Grandpa said there is aquaprush is the, you know, 
uh, frequently seen toothpaste in uh, in this country their uh, their allison say no i use colgate so grandpa he say okay i look for that i'll get it now uh, this is the first conversation between uh, the grandpa z and allison was happening the night okay where uh, grandpa z has to uh, sleep in the kitchen because he needs to spare the bedroom to allison so allison and mishab they were living in the uh, bedroom they were sleeping in the bedroom and the grandpa z was sleeping in the kitchen right and then the next morning okay uh, when she wakes up there uh, she came across a old woman okay whose name is mrs uh, sabu okay she is very old and very fragile okay the old woman looked at uh, alison she called okay she gave alison food break fast okay this girl had the breakfast but uh, the food which was given was different from what uh, she was taking in his own country so she's looking for something different but uh, there he needs to take what uh, she was given right so he was eating the food which uh, she was given by the old woman and uh, in the morning uh, the mishap the dog which started sniff uh, every field okay he was doing that uh, the dog was doing that he, because it's new land for the dog so it was searching and sniffing nearby uh, there was a, a river called uh, nemunas uh, ne- nemunas was a river which was mm, you know close to grandpa z's house and there grandpa z was talking about a fish called sturgeon okay sturgeon is you know rare fish uh, very difficult to catch this fish and uh, this girl uh, who thinks that you know he can catch the fish but grandpa z said no in this river you cannot find uh, a sturgeon it's not uh, uh, you know it is not there it is not living there because it's you know dangerous very very dangering endangered fish you cannot see here but alison says no i think i can find uh, one sturgeon in this river okay uh, she was very confident that she could catch right and uh, the uh, grandpa z was uh, uh, doing a work uh, he was etching grave gravestones okay uh, people who passed away uh, for them uh, uh, the relatives make a gravestone on which the uh, pictures uh, figure of uh, the uh, dead person uh, will be etched on the gravestone so that is the profession which grandpa was doing so every day he goes to his works and uh, since it's you know a holiday uh, schools are closed so grandpa couldn't take him to the school so he was waiting for uh, the schools to uh, get reopened meanwhile what she was doing okay she looked at the fishing rods there were you know two fishing rods she also noticed a boat over there okay so this girl wanted to go for fishing in the river called uh, nemunas okay uh, when she was going there uh, the first day she came with the empty hand she couldn't find the fish now uh, she he was she was talking to the grandpa that you know she went for fishing but we couldn't catch anything right grandpa said like you know you can but uh, there is no sturgeon in this river alison said you know no one day myself and mrs sabo we had seen a sturgeon in this river but grandpa didn't agree with alison alison after a few days you know she went again for fishing and there the second time also she came uh, with nothing okay she couldn't get fish so she came with empty hand now again the next day she went for uh, fishing along with the old lady mrs sabo mrs sabo uh, she was also coming with this girl for uh, fishing and uh, even then she couldn't find the fish so they came back with empty hand mrs sabo the old lady she is the one who showed uh, uh, alison's mother's uh, photos pictures which she was taken these photos were taken when uh, alison's mother was young okay she showed all the photos to alison so alison was very happy that uh, mom was very beautiful okay before the marriage the place where she has visited where she has you know spent all those photos mrs sabo showed to uh, alison right now mrs sabo she was uh, died 
now her son who made all the ceremony for uh, the old lady and uh, the next three days uh, mr sabu's son he kept all the doors and windows open uh, and he believed that uh, only then the uh, soul of uh, mr sabu will leave the house freely without struggle so he kept the doors and windows open for around three days and uh, now there uh, the guy mr sabu's son who came and spoke to the uh, grandpa z for uh, uh, etching the gravestone okay so this grandpa who etched gravestone for uh, uh, the old lady mr sabu but Uh, he didn't collect money from him but that guy was ready to give him money but grandpa z said no i don't need money he did it at the free of cost he didn't collect money for the for his work so after the schools are opened uh, alison was uh, uh, taken to the schools and she started doing schools and meanwhile alison didn't leave his uh, you know uh, perseverance she came on to catch the fish Uh, the next day, I mean, the one day, what happened, and the, it's uh, you know the fourth day. She and Grandpa see the two men for fishing, and this time uh, he went uh, with the uh, chicken carcasses for uh, catching the fish, and as you know, fishing rod. And there, this time, she caught fish. She caught you know a uh, fish, the sturgeon, uh, you know, rare fish, sturgeon, S T U R G E O N sturgeon. So this is the fish, you know. This time he is caught. Okay, now it was pulling. I was in trying to. you know pull it back it was very difficult to you know pull it because it give that much of force the fish you know which very very you know strong rare fish alison was very confident as grandpa was there he was giving confidence no you can you can can you can roll all the veins you can do this so grandpa z was giving confident he was boost alison confident and alison pulling the uh, fish from the river along with fishing rod he was rolling the nose okay and finally she gets seen the fish now grandpa also seen the fish okay now finally fish was no bloating beside the boat for few seconds and was stunned and sleepy so uh, he doesn't flick his tail okay and um, uh, their uh, grandpa came and uh, disconnect uh, the uh, cut the vein so that um, the uh, fish can go away okay because the thing is that you know she doesn't want to uh, trouble the fish she wanted to see she wanted to catch the fish okay as he had the confidence as she said uh, alison that see in the fish a uh, sturgeon she proved that his grandpa he said there is no sturgeon in this river but uh, alison said it was there i can catch so as he said uh, as she promised to his grandpa she caught the fish she had seen it now uh, the next day he made the gravestone for the mrs sabu and uh, uh, gave the uh, you know gravestone to her son okay grandpa z also started talking in english he started few english words and elizabeth who started learn few lithuanian words lithuanian language okay later he was you no know, started talking about uh, the fish uh, stadion okay and uh, she was talking like you know how big the, the fish was and the soft bone the hermit like you know living at the bottom of deep hole in the river and uh, he asked herself whether the half with the fish is often like me uh, last as uh, uh, father and mother okay and she is asking another question does he spend all the day uh, uh, you know searching for someone like uh, brother or he can recognize he is looking for whether he is looking for is you know a companionship like uh, he needs a brother or anybody else and uh, but uh, he was not uh, you know so gentle when i got him close to the boat okay uh, he was not you know uh, just uh, patient as a horse okay wasn't he just about uh, noble as anything so he's asking few questions about the fishes she compares herself with fish like you know she he uh, alison didn't have his parents uh, even he didn't have uh, brothers her, so like alison is the fish also uh, often so she is asking such questions uh, within herself and um, uh, the next day so the end of the fiction in the end of the fiction okay it was in the uh, november month uh, very dark there he sleeping on his grandfather's bed uh, was clutching uh, his dog 
worship along with him and uh, there uh, she was praying when she was sleeping she was praying okay that's his hobby she does uh, frequently when she was sleeping she was praying for his mom and his dad and even for the old woman mrs sabu and also grandpa z and like, she also pray for uh, those you know south american uh, tribal people on the television and uh, their languages are being banished and um, he also praying for uh, the, the sturgeon fish uh, whom he calls as monster lunker okay so she was uh, praying for uh, these many people and the animals and where uh, the uh, with this the fiction gets over okay so the whole fiction is being occupied by uh, the uh, elizan okay, okay with this will uh, stop with the lecture that's it uh, kindly subscribe the channel